are now listening to A to Z, the podcast with no authority. Here's a tip. Get a real job. <laughs> okay, everybody. Woo, woo, woo. This is Zeke from ADZ. It's getting you guys ready. What's up, everybody? I'm Dempsey. <laughs> you are now listening to Avid. Yo, you you got mad hype, and my ears, they dead just like blew out my sockets. Ooh, explosion in your ears. Voices radiating all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what's up, guys? How y'all doing yeah, today? Yeah, Dempsey, you awake? You sleeping on us. You look, you look so unenthused, was, like you're over gonna, us. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I always wanted one of those Spanish voices. Like, you know, when you listen to like La Mega and it's like, a punto com. Oh, like, wow, you know, oh, that's noventa yeah. seis yeah. La Mega, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I always wanted one of those epic voices. I, I don't listen to Spanish radio, but I admire those guys. Those guys Go! No, that's that's soccer. I know. No! I, 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 thanks for clearing that up. I didn't I didn't know that. Well, I'm glad you guys both Boom. know now. Yeah. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm over them now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was just Biggie's Ooh. birthday birthday the other day. Notorious. R.I.P. Notorious. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Say uh, really again. Really, really. Yo, guys, I know really, we've been, really. Uh, been doing this quarantine a lot so have y'all been ordering any food or anything like that or what y'all been doing oh, like, um yes oh nah i've been cooking I, yeah I me don't too know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> all avid knows how to make his breakfast which um, is a vital inc- vital vital, yeah, vital that's actually thing. incorrect because i sent you guys a video of me uh making some chicken breast with panko was that your so, breakfast so that was my brunch. <laughs> I don't believe it. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I saw the... the, the uh, never mind. I'm too tired to make a joke. You're right. I am kind of beat. Um, if I'm being honest with you guys, yeah. I um, I, f- I feel like a total hypocrite. But um, Why? I, started in- I started intermittent fasting after last dun, week's dun, episode. Dun, dun, <laughs> dun. No, you didn't. Liar! I Liar! I tried it for, tried no, it for two did. days so far, and I feel so weak. <laughs> you have really? no energy. But but I have I haven't had the juice to supplement it. I've just been drinking a lot of water. That's good. You should so. be drinking. There's a percentage Wowzers. of your of your weight that you should be drinking of water. So yeah, it could. They say like eight glasses is like a norm, but it could be more or less depending on your body weight. Wow. But, yeah, I haven't I haven't drank soda in like almost a week and a half. Nice. Now. Wow, you're probably so, is the detox. That's why you know it's good. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna like you're gonna have those, like four days. You're straight. gonna have a headache. Yeah, yeah. Because your so body's like, caffeine, what's going on? Right? You're missing. Yeah, all yeah that it's caffeine. the caffeine. It's the lack of caffeine. Yeah, yeah. your your body's uh, just so, going through a shock period. You'll be fine though. So no, nah, yeah. So I feel like a total hypocrite because I'm like I'm not starving myself. I'm just fasting. <laughs> it's fasting. I keep on telling myself that. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be fine. I am proud. You gotta you gotta change your life. I'm feel oh, yeah. so emotional right now. <laughs> like, Aww. no, and the reason why I'm doing it is because, so we have been like I I did like I had like a huge wake up call the other day. I was like, we've been ordering so much food, and then uh, I was telling you guys we just got the chest freezer because Lisa went she she like she went out into the apocalypse <gasps> to go food shopping the other day, and we got a whole bunch of food because we realized we, we said we're gonna stop ordering. Yeah, food. yeah, literally, yeah. yeah, yeah. How long is how long has it been since like everything's been sh- like shut down with like your takeout and uh-huh. delivery, right? We I would Two say we ordered out like more, like maybe sixty percent of the time. Wow, we've, we've ordered out. Wow, yeah. got but money. It's not, no, I mean I, I, mean, it's I not ordered that Papa John's once. <laughs> so you're it. lucky, Papa so John's. So you ordered me. so you ordered once, and Dempsey ordered like sixty times. Not sixty time, sixty percent of the time. Okay. You should count how many times you ordered. That'd be a good figure. Have those no, figures ready for us next week. That yeah, would be embarrassing. Those numbers. That yeah. would be super embarrassing. I want to know. It's not. It's not really embarrassing. It's just. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really embarrassed because there was a study that was put out saying that um, pretty much 
50% of all meals that Americans had during this entire quarantine was through a, a takeout service. So well, I'm it, not that embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Also, so you're part you're of the status putting, quo. But you're putting money into these, you know, these Small places businesses. that need the money. There you there go. You use go. those key, those exactly. key like, indicator words. Yeah. Like Papa John's. Very small business. Well, Papa not me. John- That's, I'm talking about this me. But Dempsey, Yo, you, who knows what he's ordering. I've No, anyway. anyway these uh, always ordering chicken and fries. Chicken and fries. No, mm. but the, the thing that kills me now is like, I, I was under the impression that all these places were making a lot of money. But now it seems like what Uber wants to buy Seamless. Did you guys hear about that? Yes, I've heard about that, which is probably a good idea for them to like integrate seamless like uh practices with their own uber eats mm. so i think that's truly like the plan they're going with that i wonder I if that would be idea. a seamless transition boom 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 yeah go. there we go all <laughs> right <laughs> but, 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 but leave the corny jokes to this guy <laughs> you got it sir oh, no 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 um the, the reason why I don't think it's a good idea is because, and I think Cory Booker had pointed it out too. He he wants uh, the the Supreme Court to pay close attention to the to the possible merger because if think about it, if they merge, it's going to start making a they're, monopoly. They're, they're, they're going to be a monopoly exactly. Yeah. Who else is going to be a competition? They're I love much that game. The, the grub the and the two, hub. <laughs> the only two services like that, right? The big services, and they're going to dominate. Entirely, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, because it's Grubhub, Postmates, and this is not an ad for all those people, but but, yeah. but Postmates they get anything for you, right? Like if I say I want a bag of chips, they'll go to the store and get me a bag of chips. Uh, yeah, but it's still like competition. But it's the aren't comp- the Postmates more like yeah, yeah. individual? Like I could download Postmates right now and do it, right? I don't, I don't know what their vetting process is, but I think it's like super like individual based. What do you mean, like to jo- to join to be a deliverer? Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I, absolutely. Like you could go in and be like, "Hey, I just want to work." And they'll do, yeah, my dad did it because oh, my dad, cool. low key, fun fact of the day, guys. <gasps> my dad works. My dad is an Uber Eats driver. What? What? Dude, I, I honestly, when he, so it all started. He wanted to make some <laughs> extra side dough, right? Okay. Of course. He was he and I, he's older guy. He doesn't really have wow. a side if hustle. If I said that to my that dad, much. if I call my dad an older guy, I'd be deceased. But go ahead. My dad, my dad is old as hell. I'm not even gonna lie. He's a- <laughs> wow, you really don't like your okay. dad. <laughs> no, I love, my, I love my, dad my dad is young as heck. Shout as out hell. to you, pops. We it's just spit out facts worse. on this podcast, okay? Oh, it's facts. But anyway, he was facts. looking for a side hustle, but he didn't have any real marketable skills. Like he could wax floors and stuff, but there isn't, there isn't really people that are always just like, okay, wax I, I need my floor wax. wax I need my off. floor waxed right now, you know. But people are always hungry. But he, he loves to drive, okay. or so he says. So I was like, why don't you do, like, Postmates or something? So he did Postmates, and he they set him up. He, you know, same day, well, the next day, he got a card in the mail, like oh, a debit nice. card that they put money on and everything. It was like this whole process was really seamless. Um, but then uh, he... He said that they they were like weird, like they were they were too slow to respond to him after you know getting him in the door so quickly. So I said, why don't you try Uber Eats? I hear Uber Eats is is better because it's more flexible, uh, and I know that most people who do Uber Eats are in a car. Postmates, to my knowledge, every time I've seen somebody on Postmates, I see them usually on bike. And this is this was way back when, when I used to work in the city, so everybody used to do Postmates. Uh, or everybody that I knew that did Postmates was riding their bikes around the, the town. So he he signed up for Uber Eats and. He immediately loved it. Not only is it flexible, he showed me how much that he was making a week. It's incredible. They have they have some really really unbelievable caps. Like you will not believe how much you'll be able to make a day. No this caps. This is not an ad for. This is not an ad for Uber Eats whatsoever. Yeah, no caps. Unless you want to sponsor us. Yeah, and let's he hit had us up. Uh, and he st- he has a five star rating. He's been doing it for hey. what, almost two years. So do we on uh, Apple Podcasts. So I wish you should rate us five stars as well. Yeah, five, star, five, five stars, stars, five stars, five stars. That's that's seamless. That's seamless. Um, mm. so, <laughs> that should be the name of the episode, guys. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> no. Um. So yeah. So that that's. Uh, I, I don't even know how how we got on this, but anyway. Deliveries. Uber deliveries. <laughs> so, I mean, shout out to everybody that's you know securing the bag on these delivery services. Oh, I tend out big yeah. Time. I that, uh, shout out to y'all. I tend not to use them. Yesterday, I was doing my research, okay? And I'm, I've never ordered from Uber Eats. But, yo, they never. charge, like, delivery fee, a service fee, all these fees. Uh-huh. So, it, it brings the price the up, like, an extra, like, $6. All 
Are you supposed to tip on top of that? Like I don't I don't understand cuz I feel like now mm. now you're playing me cuz I'm I'm more inclined to leave a more generous tip if like my delivery's quote unquote free cuz I'm like I know you're not working for free, but if you're charging yeah. me delivery fee and the service fee, like what do you guys think? Should I be giving a generous tip? But now it depends like who's getting the service and delivery fee. How do that's, but you know yeah, how do I know that? Companies often be like, "Oh, this is not a paid tip to your driver." Okay? No, but, that's what I'm saying. No, like, uh, if right. they would like disclose what those fees are like going towards, like smart service fee, like, like is that for, for instance, the actual guy doing the service, like that's what I would imagine. Like Domino's does it all the time. It says service fee, and it says that it's not a paid tip to your delivery person. So, but to my okay. knowledge, <laughs> mm-hmm. hold on, hold on. My, this is my understanding. The service fee is for Uber. The delivery uh, fee. The delivery okay. fee is for um, the restaurant. Because service fees were not always around when this when it first started. Yeah. Uber had there was no service fee, and depending on what time of the day and where you order from, the service fee fluctuates. Sometimes Ugh. they'll have no service fee. I've had it as little as a dollar. I've had it as most as four dollars. Sheesh. Um, I, I sound like such an expert. In I was staff. just about to say. Uh, that. Yeah, yeah I'm, like, I'm just learning. Wow. Got my wow. notepad ready. I'm, I'm like, a, okay. I'm a, I'm a I got my pen here. <laughs> no. Yeah. And, from what I understand, the the ride itself. Uh-huh. So uh, how do how do Uber drivers make money? How do how do people that that do Uber eats make money? They obviously split the fare. There's a certain percentage that Uber takes and a certain percentage that the driver makes. Mm-hmm. So technically, you don't really have to tip the driver because they're already getting a cut from just doing the ride. Uh, and depending huh. on how many rides you do an hour, that they seems make trashy like, to not tip the driver though. I, I know, but so, I, was, I was gonna say like disclosure, guys. Um, please tip your drivers if you can. <laughs> yeah, <Don't listen> to- <laughs> your trash goes a long way sometimes. It does, it does. But I literally like I can't tell you how many people I said I said oh, do, I try to give them cash tips. I've I, I've done this so many times. I try to give somebody a cash tip. But like, nah, don't worry about it. So I think I think and and from my what? insider knowledge, once yes, yes, and this is in yeah, the city because I've done I've ordered Uber Eats while well, working in the tip. city before it. So it's like <laughs> I think that I, and for, like I said, once I know from my insider knowledge, I think that they they're make they're so they're making pretty good bread for what they do. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. Well, if you want to give Zeke and myself cash tips, we will happily accept that. Them yeah, cash, no, thank you. Cash app no. us too, you know that that works right. too. PayPal, whatever. Like we don't discriminate. Oh, not at all. Bro. I see so, what you did there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Bro. Real ones. Let now. me ask. Let me ask you guys this because so. we kind of got into this one time when you, we ordered Chinese from my house. Mm. You guys remember? Avid yes. Avid went to go pay the guy. Oh yeah. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, did not give. Oh, you guys said I gave too much you of a gave, tip. You gave him like a six dollar tip. And I'm I like, sent you guys the money. Whatever. No, I know. I know. No, no, no. No, I know. Six is okay. We need to talk about what is standard, because I don't I have think there is a standard. That don't, that, there's people that I know that do not tip at all. They're, They're like, trash. Oh, they, yeah, I, I know. It's I, their I, job. I, yeah. I used to used to when trash. I was coming up and I, I didn't know. make a lot of money. I used to give a dollar tip, but obviously this is trash. like this is like this is like five six years ago. Bro. Hey, listen, I know hey, things have gone give up. What you can, that's now, all. Like now, it generally varies between three to five dollars. I use it, it. Also depends on the, the 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 amount that you spend on the order. If it's less than ten dollars, I'm not giving somebody a five dollar tip. Well, you're I'm not sorry. you're not giving fifty percent. <laughs> I'm not that, exactly. That's that's bonkers. They'll get like a two dollar tip. If it's twenty, maybe like a three dollar tip. I, I think it, it's like for mm-hmm. every ten dollars I spend, I'll tack on another dollar. Unless it's like over fifty, then I'm I'm sorry, bro. I just spent fifty dollars at your restaurant. You're not getting more money from me. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Well, does, do, does that sound fair? Well, I'm not talking about restaurants, but like, just say I get a delivery depends. Like, I've seen like I've gotten like terrible like my pack or my food guy like in a terrible situation or like just looks oh. unpresentable. I'm like, I might just give you two dollars. You know, that uh, that's what I'm talking. I'm talking yeah. about delivery. I'm not I'm not talking about like in, in the person restaurant. restaurant. Yeah. That's what I, that's the context of my man. But like, if but they, I agree yeah. with you. But if they come to like upstairs, because usually they don't come all the way up to the apartment. So if they come all the way up and deliver directly to my door, oh, you Sweating. get the, you might get the five, you know. I mean, you know, what I'm saying, you know, and get more than that, but you know, five right now is at like my top amount of tipping for like delivery. Cause I ain't order that much of food anyway. It'd be like twenty dollars max worth of food. I mean, Avid can't relate because yeah. he, you know, he cooks all his meals I, apparently. No, Chef Ramsey I think, over here. But we're talking about <laughs> not at all. This is pre um, I think, quarantine, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, I think I think five dollars is definitely a, a generous tip. Depend like twenty dollars. If you order twenty dollars of food and five dollar tip, 
Yeah, that's definitely generous. That's twenty. That's take twenty five percent tip. Definitely yeah. think it's generous. Um, but if you order, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't have never really ordered like an exorbitant amount of food. So like a fifty dollar order, I don't know. Five dollars is like a ten percent tip. Still, still seems still seems okay. I'm not Dempsey that orders a uh, sixty sixty percent of meals. I more generally <laughs> will order meals oh, and, and pick it up. <laughs> I generally will order oh, a meal and pick, pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, everybody has a car. Not everybody <laughs> has wheels, bro. You smell that? Okay. Smells like jealousy and hate. Ooh, ooh, wow, ooh, mm, wow. Don't smell good. Doesn't smell good. Wow, I know. You ooh, know, that's well, not how they. Um, that's not how they feel when you. You know, you pick them up or drop them off home. You know mm, what I'm saying? Mm, mm, wow, wow, wow. I thought I knew you. That, wow, wow, I thought we knew each other. You got man. salty wow. so quickly. I thought we knew each other, man. Remember the day when I didn't have a car and we walked to high school together? Those yes! were the days. Yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, I think we spoke I, about that prior. Thing. I don't think Zeke, Zeke, that's the one thing I got that Zeke doesn't have. That <laughs> Wait, oh, I, oh no! I need to walk I, to school. I've, that, I've walked, I, oh. I walked with Zeke from what Chelsea to Harlem, so I, we've walked longer. Oh, yeah. hundred blocks. Dude. Yeah, light. Sun, some easy. light, some light, easy. Nah, right? bro. Nah, dude. Me, Avid. All right. So disclaimer. I think we've spoken about this before. Definitely. But for those have. Of you guys who have, we, me and Avid walked from Soundview, Classes Point by the like, what, what probably would, five what miles. Would you call that, what would you call Short that? Haven. That body of water by that, <laughs> that you live across the street from. <laughs> The, the Chesapeake ocean. Bay, the the ocean. We walk the, from the ocean, <laughs> pretty much the 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 uh, the, uh, the Pacific Ocean, the, all the way to Fordham Road, bro. I yeah. felt honestly that day it felt like me and you were like uh, Frodo and Sam trying to walk to Mordor. He doesn't Stop. get the frenzy. <laughs> if like trying to trying to destroy the ring, bro. So many hills. I, we got up at five a.m. that day. I don't and, even remember. Bro. I got up. My mom. My mom gave me a kiss on the forehead. She said, "Be careful." Like uh, she was, on, was going on a journey. <laughs> oh my goodness! And it was. But we got to we got to school so early. Still though, we got to school by like eight o'clock. That yeah, day. Well, not I don't. I don't even know. I don't. I don't. I don't remember the time. But yeah, that was that was an adventure. Well, yeah, we, it was, uh, it's something you can only do when you're young. <laughs> can't do that. Can't do that now. My back. Oh no! Nah, oh, damn. Oh. Now we can stop ordering. Stop ordering all that food. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Yeah. We got it. We should do some walking adventure, and we'll get the camera and put it on YouTube. Also, oh remember God. when we walked from um, was it Fordham Prep all the way to Chinatown? Yeah, me and yeah. we did that. Was that that was junior year, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, because that was our last our metropolitan, mates. our last metropolitan day, oh, and mates. so we were like, let's do something, let's do something lit. Yeah, that was cool. We did that with Mr. Yeah. That's not lit. That's scariest to Chinatown in by Canal Street. Chinatown? Yeah, all it was, the way yeah. downtown. Yeah, Chinatown. Yeah. The Chinatown. It was good. It was it was a good time. It was something memorable as opposed to just a nice spending walk. money and going like on a trip or something. Like yeah, it was some. It was good. We w- walked to some kind of statue. I don't remember uh, what statue was it. Oh, it was Confucius. Okay. Yeah. Wait, did you say that you went on this trip with Mister Homer? Yeah. yeah yep. We, me and Zeke, we walked um, all the way a million miles yeah. with Mister Homer and some other yeah other kids. I think we were the only I'm about juniors. To bring this- yeah, we were. Yeah, it was us too. Ew. Everyone yeah. else were like, Ew. "Frosh, frosh, uh, freshmen." Uh, yeah, because so- seniors don't do metropolitan. <laughs> no, we're juniors. No, we were juniors. Yeah, still, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Seniors, seniors don't do it. I th- so, we're the only fools that wanted to do something memorable instead of something quick. Yo, I'm about to, I'm about to bring this episode full circle. Ooh. My, my dad, talking about being an Uber driver. He actually delivered to Mister Homer's house. What? what? Yes, yeah, he he uh, no. he delivered to Mr. Owen's house, and I think he saw like some Fordham Prep memorabilia, and he was like, "Oh, my son went to Fordham Prep." Really? And What's Mr. his Homer's name? Like, oh yeah, yeah. He said, "Yeah, exactly." That's exactly what he said. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, he was like, "Oh, his name's Dempsey." He's like, "Oh, I remember him." So you I know. hate that kid. Yeah. So, <laughs> shout out to Mr. Homer. <laughs> yeah, Same. Mr. Homer, big guy. Yeah, he was my homeroom teacher sophomore year. Yeah, with with uh, Zeke and Zeke was in Dr. Gelpie's homeroom. I had him um, junior year. Yeah, with, I know you guys had him homeroom. as a teacher. Maybe that's what I'm confusing him with. Whatever. No, you he, no he was my homeroom teacher junior year, or was he? I don't know anymore. I, uh, I think I think um, I think it'd be great if we had somebody from Fordham Prep on the podcast oh, pause. one day. I had Ms. Zephron. Shout mm. out to Ms. Zephron. Yeah, yeah, you were in my homeroom. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jack. Wow, you guys don't there even know each other. No, I forget. You you were definitely in Mr. Homer's homeroom sophomore year, Zeke. You had no, I was in Dr. Gelby. No, he was not. He was in Dr. Gelby. How are you going to tell me, Zeke? No, <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm sorry, Dempsey. I'm sorry. No, yo, I wonder what Mr. Otis is up to, though, like, for real. And can we get him on the podcast? Have, mm. We need to have our people reach out to his people. He reached out to me and Lisa like a few years ago. Really? He wanted to have brunch. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. And you didn't. And you didn't have brunch we with him. Did, we did. You're respond, trash. But he, we uh, responded. Didn't even but tell us we either. responded. He didn't respond back. Oh, this would be block. awesome. So many curses. We have to have like the bleep noise going on like crazy. The nah, we can, we'll just we'll just leave him unedited. It's fine. He's I mean, gonna be yelling at us. He's like, you're not talking to the mics properly. <gasps> yeah. Nah. He. he Enough with the acronym. Oh no, day I. Man. Diction. Diction. Project. <laughs> <laughs> Spe- well, speaking of amazing interviews that yeah. could possibly take place, there was an interesting interview that took place oh, up this past week. I know really? You guys are not aware. Really, oh, Zeke? Between, wow. between Leonard, a.k.a. Charlemagne the God. God. That's his real name? Joe Biden. Yeah, his name's Leonard. I lost all his vet. Let me stop. <laughs> Leonard. Wow. Wow. All right, Dempsey. Yeah, so pretty, pretty much... Uh, now this interview is making headlines because oh, Biden God. said something unintelligent uh, in jest, and I do think it's being overly hyped. But I don't think he should have said it. So he said, "If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black." Dang. So you ain't black, yeah. and you ain't yeah, black. He pulled I up the if he was on. Yeah. So he was on the Breakfast Club. So I'm wondering if he was on like CNN. Or ABC or NBC, would he would he have said the same thing? Like, was of course, he man. I mean, that's a that's good what I'm question. Saying. No, that's I a good question. So I don't like, like, I don't like that he said that. Nah, he was too comfortable. Like he's trying to be hip and Way down and cool. Like I think yeah. that's exactly what it was. I'm thinking if he was talking to um, Lester Holt or Don Lemon, one of the other black uh, anchors that are very prominent in the industry. There's no um, way he would have said that statement. Rather. You don't think I he would drop the ink? Yeah, and he, and he peddled back. He peddled back and issued a statement, I believe, the, the next day. No, Did no, it? it happened all in the same day. Oh, same day issued a statement? Yeah. So, so. yeah. Oh, and it, that's because Trump mm. dogpiled on him. But, all right, so I kind of feel he bad. Did. I, feel, I feel bad because people are focused so much on this. And it wasn't like I. Yes, I think he was too comfortable. I think he's he's way he's way in thinking that he's got the black vote automatically just because he's his association with Obama. Um, but uh, which, by the way, I would love to hear Obama's been suspiciously quiet on this. I would love to hear his thoughts on this. He ain't gonna idea. say nothing. He ain't. He ain't. <laughs> um, he's probably like, "Ha, Joe, <laughs> that was stupid. Like, You're crazy for Joe. that one, Joe. Joe, oh, Joe." <laughs> No. Crazy golly, Joe. Golly gee, Joe. Nah. <laughs> See, but, nah. but I think um and Charlemagne asked a very, I think, important question. So pretty much that all led up to uh, after he said that, he was like, That's not the point whether or not like people are black. He wants to know and Charlemagne was like, What are you doing for like me and my community? And I think a lot of politicians, including him at the end, that was an opportunity for him to say, you know what, this is what I want to do for communities. He threw him he threw him a ball. Underprivileged communities. And that was and for him to say that he's like, Oh, I did this bill and the crime bill and this and blah blah. It's like, bro, that wasn't the question. You circumvented the whole conversation. And it's like, all right, so now we have now we have two fools. Running, r- running for president. Yeah, but, but one fool's not. It's like the lesser of the the fools. Two oh, evil. for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Not. Yeah, I mean, not that I think Biden. I don't really think Biden's evil. I just think I was stupid for him to say. Yeah. But it's it's like it's, this. Is what going back to what I was trying to say before, I feel bad because he's and it's I, it's very evident to me that I feel like he may be going through some forms of dementia. Yeah, and not to use that Ooh. as an excuse. Sleep, sleepy Joe. <laughs> no, nah, t- it's just like he's he's um. <laughs> damn, bro. Why you got? Why you got? Why you got doing like bro. that? He's asleep, bro. Wake up. He's 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 sleeping. <laughs> the old age is getting to him. It's evident. Yeah, he, he's and up I feel, there. Yeah, I feel bad because he's a genuinely nice guy. He appears to be a genuinely nice guy. Obviously, the lesser of two evils. I'm sorry, but I think people are focused way too much on this. It's not to say you're making a big deal out of nothing, but. It's Come on, not you're, that level. In the same league as a guy who put 
little Hispanic kids in cages. Really? Yikes. You're going to tell me you're going to make this much of a big deal and make it seem like, oh, his vote is going to be tossed out the rent window. Guys, we got to do something. I mean, November's yeah. coming around the corner, and I don't want to – honestly, the last four years have been stressful as hell. Bro. I don't mean I don't mean to vent. I don't mean to go off book, but this is how I personally But you feel. are. <laughs> nah, but God. it's true, though. Like, it's, think it's, about this it. is, I'm not going to say it's been hell. But it's been very stressful, and I feel like there, you now is a time where you feel such a great divide. And Joe Biden, he whether he is the candidate or not, because there there are there are people saying that there is a chance Bernie Sanders could come back because his campaign is technically suspended. But look, we mm-hmm. got you got to remember what I said a couple episodes ago: vote blue, no matter who, because you know this this whole thing is bigger than all of us. And yeah, he may have made a mistake. Obama made a couple of mistakes while he was in office. I mean, I remember there was a time where Obama touched a, a reporter on her shoulder and called her honey or something like that. And people were oh uh, throwing him gas for that. They were saying, oh, that, that's kind of sexual harassment, Mr. President. Uh, the tan suit, the whole thing with the tan. People gave him flack an, for wearing a tan suit. It, it was a nice suit. <laughs> like, people make the big, Controversial. Was, yeah, people are so How dare you wear a and, tan suit? And, and I touched on this before, yeah, you know. Beautiful chocolate skin. And Charlemagne the God, I, I don't have a major problem with him, like like I do some other people, like Sean King. But uh, <laughs> I do, I do, he does have. I, I don't, I, I don't like the way he comes out sometimes. And, uh-huh. uh, people know, you know, when you're in an interview with Charlemagne, it's not going to be as serious as if you're in an interview with Lester Holt, or Don Lemon, CNN, ABC. You know, I don't like that. Why not? I think Charlemagne asks hard hitting questions. He's, he he's like, all right, so what are you doing for us? And they're like, ah. they don't answer. And it's not, Whoa. and he's not only like that with Biden. He's interviewed, he's interviewed with everyone, um, different candidates. He's interviewed Sanders. He's interviewed um, uh, uh, Elizabeth Elizabeth Harris. Paul. He's, a, I think he's vis- uh, he's no, he's yeah, no, nah, I know. Go he's back. Interviewed, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go 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 back, go back, go back. Elizabeth. He interviewed Elizabeth Warren, Camilla Harris. Like he treat, I think he treats everybody with the same with the same like smoke and hostility. Um, no, I think he's but... pretty. I think he, I think he's a fair interviewer. He, he, I see what you're saying, but yeah. uh, to Dempsey's point, it is like a different level to the. the he wasn't wearing a suit. Itself. He wasn't wearing a suit when Joe Biden was wearing a suit. He wasn't wearing a suit on his end, you know. So it's it's it is a professional interview, but it's 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 not, it doesn't have the same tone as a professional interview. You know what I'm saying, Zeke? Yeah, because like when you do the interviews, or they had done the interviews, like let's say CNN and all of them, it's more dedicated to like the huge mass of people that they're going to reach. So they have to have a certain I guess, criteria that they hit and deliver their, you know, interview questions and everything of like that and the whole tone. And the way, because, like, you know, Charlemagne's just, not just, but he's a radio personality. So the way he's going to conduct his interview is going to be way different. And the vibe and tone of it all has a different feel of it just because of the platform that he gets his message out. So that's why there they are different, like, levels to it. Doesn't mean there's not I, less I important or anything like that. I understand it's a different platform, but millions of people listen to the Breakfast Breakfast it's Club. It's syndicated. And, yeah, you're right. And Charlemagne has done different interviews now on CNN because of his because of his interview with Biden. It's getting so much press, and you know he's getting uh, Biden's getting all that flack and whatnot. So I don't know. I, I mean, I, I disagree. I think it should be taken um, almost almost the same. Like I feel like the platform does does reach many people. Not, I'm not saying it's um, not saying that it shouldn't be taken seriously, but, but I, it's a different I feel tone like and vibe to it. That's the, all. Exa- just... I think that's that's what that's why Joe answered the way he did. That's that's my. I don't know if I was making that as clear before, but I feel like that's why it felt like such a a, a jovial response towards the end. Like he was trying to be all buddy buddy. Uh, at the question, too comfortable. Yeah, yeah, too comfortable. That's what it was. Um, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I feel. Um, I, I feel like because he was just trying to be like in the heat of the moment. It was at the very end of the interview. Yeah. You know, I, at that point, you're just like just trying to take a breath, and so you're, you're glad the whole thing's over. And I think that people are being too critical without having that in mind. Does that make sense? Yeah, man. It, listen, yeah. all in all, if you listen to the clip and not just read the headlines. You can get the feel of what he was going for and how he said it and everything like that. Shouldn't have said it. I don't think he said anything. He didn't say anything awful. It's just the way he said it. It's the words he chose. Exactly. It's just you could have said it probably better. That way better. But just he said it. We got to live with it. And now we have all these headlines trying to kill him for it. It's like, yeah, he does deserve some flack. 
but not to the extent where we're like, oh, it's it's over. We got to get him out as a candidate. It's we're going to lose it all. No. Oh, my God. While we have, you know, as Dempsey was saying earlier, we have another guy who's done way more egregious things. So let's uh, let's all wisen up, get over this little hump and continue to move forward with this. Because like, what else we're going to do? Another four years of this. It's it's uh, I, I like I was I was trying to say earlier before we recorded, I think there's like a little smear campaign against Joe Biden. And I mean, who could blame the, the, the GOP for trying to do it? Because at this point, he is our only hope that mm-hmm. they have the whole thing with the, the sexual assault allegations that are being investigated. Mm-hmm. Um, now this and everybody, <laughs> everybody still even Trump is still tweeting. Oh, oh, my God, Bernie Sanders. It's not fair. Like, almost, oh, I feel like Trump, Trump, Trump prefers to have run against Bernie Sanders because I feel like it. At the end of the day, whatever, just putting everything that Joe Biden said and all, all of his his record as he keeps on bringing it up, uh, the guy has a has a has a great association with the last president, which to many people is is, is reminiscent of as yeah. is the uh, reminiscent of the last time that things were actually kind of okay in this country. So, what do you think, Avid? Uh, I don't know that things are ever okay in this country. Well, but compared to now, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, um, I just I think people need to stop honestly just blaming one person for everything. I I think we've said that before. It's so many different checks and balances, and it starts I think even with like completing the census, doing things uh with your local government, voting for your assemblyman, your councilman, and uh, oh. I think so many people fail fail to do that as well. Um, and they want to blame just like the big Kahuna. Like it's not. It's not only him. Well, like, it's, hold everybody accountable. Well, I'll say one thing: it's, it's it's him and his administration, though. So, like, you vote him in, you get all the people that come with him. You know what I mean? Right, but you, right, but you're, but you're able to. He's the face. You know he's the, every, he's, every, I know, but he's the face of that it, thing. I, and, I, and I get it, but like, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not just him. I, I know, but I'm just saying that's why people just generally just look at one person. And oh, quick thing, you said you mentioned the census. Have you guys looked at the census, like this year's census, and how crazy it is? Yeah, I did. I did it. Why do you think it's crazy? I don't It's pretty simple. I did Le- it online. Lisa did it online. I didn't get a chance to look Me at too. it. Me uh, too. I felt it was kind of strange about like how if you're Hispanic, it was like a whole little section that like it was like then all right, so you were Hispanic, but then now you have to be either white, black, or um they did that last the, ten years ago too, they and did? that's oh yeah they don't that's that's a it's been like that in a minute they don't they don't consider um like Latino people as an ethnicity. I usually just I <clears throat> I usually just check other yeah and press and, and input Latino anyway. Exactly yeah that, I thought that uh-huh. was very strange. I never seen yeah, that's, that yeah. that's that's not new though yeah. I've I've seen that. Oh, and if you're from Egypt, you considered white as well, which that that threw me off. Egypt's in Africa. I, oh, thank you, Dempsey. Like that's that's what I was thinking when I saw the when I looked at the census paper. I'm like, I don't, I um, what? So we can now do ten gatherings or less as well. So I hope to gather with you gentlemen soon. Yes, together we are ten or less. <laughs> You're so smart. Thank you, thank you. I try. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I I guess. Um... That was a very seamless transition on your end, Avid. We spoke about a lot of things today, including seamless, uh, all the delivery systems that are currently in place. Uh, we, sp- we we touched a little bit more on food, uh, not so much on health. We also spoke about this whole Joe Biden controversy. Uh, it, what do you guys think? Uh, do you guys agree Overall? with all the controversy? Uh, do you agree with us on, uh, on some of our tips, how we tip people? If you if you if you, uh, if you disagree, do not hesitate to let us know. Um, if you want to be a part of the conversation, make sure you hit us up at a to z dot pod at gmail dot com uh, or on our socials a to z underscore podcast podcast underscore. And then uh, if you want to give us money, I'm waiting for Avid to just plug it in. What, what's the cash app? A D Z pod. That's uh, that's yeah, for. I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna say that, but yeah, good. Or it's that's when E R J R. It's a linked account. <laughs> that's a part of the blessing loom. Uh, stuff. 
Uh, oh no. <laughs> man, that's impending doom. That's, uh, that's a bar. Boom that's boom. Bar. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all the time that we have today. It's been pretty much of a doozy. We spoke about a lot as always. I don't know how we go off on these ridiculous tangents talking about <laughs> white people being from Africa. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> that's oh, snappity uh, dappity. Uh, snappity dappity indeed. Uh, <laughs> um, Dempsey's comments are, you know, he speaks for himself. <laughs> that's no, that's what we're talking about though. Before, no. Whatever. Anyway. All right. Well, guys, thanks, thanks again for for tuning in to this week's episode of A D Z. Happy Memorial Day. I'm avid. Oh yeah, it's Memorial Day. Ha- ha- happy Memorial Day too. I'm Dempsey. Also, Happy Memorial Day. I- I'm Z. Happy Memorial Day three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. Peace. Enjoy. All right, this is Zeke from A to Z and again. I want to say thank you guys for listening. And you can always contact us at a to z dot pod at gmail dot com. And you can always, you know, send us a DM at a to z underscore podcast on our Instagram or Twitter. You know, give us your you know thoughts and comments, your hate or your job information. You know, your boy needs help out here. You know, please. So again, thank you for listening, and you know, peace.